or at the least right are getting place. a giant fat check. Yeah. Those guys right. didn't get a lot of money <laughs> sure. last time, and I'm glad to see yeah, Simon that's a good point. Simon Barrett, uh, Adam's writing partner, who's yeah. done so many of the films with him, yeah. is also involved in this. I got to give you a little story too. Like when Blair Witch first came out, I got an advanced like VHS copy yeah. of Sundance, and I loaded it up into an Avid and cut out the end credits, and it was like told a friend of mine, I was like, dude, I don't, I just got this tape. I don't know what it is. <laughs> that's I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I might have to call the police. Can you just watch this? I can't watch it again. And I, I left him in the room and played it. And about an hour and a half in, when the screaming, like, oh my God, I hear him like, oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> no, oh my God, what the hell is this? And I was like, I think I pissed myself. I was laughing so much. I know it's a mean thing, but man, you only get those chances once in a lifetime really to good. really screw with your pals. That is and I awesome. said, dude, it's a movie. After he came running down the stairs, we got to call the cops. Right. John yeah, Schnepp, messing yeah. with friends since 1999. Right. <laughs> and that friend's name was JTE. All right, JMX. Now, now it's time. And don't be surprised that this isn't the best installment of all five of them. That's so, 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 so hey, hey, to me. I, to relax me. for a second there. That's not hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's whoa. not hard. Right now. Yeah. I'm telling you right Make now. Make a coherent script. Yeah. That's, a, that's probably the tough. easiest thing you could possibly right. do other than wake up and make eggs in the morning is make a better Transformers movie. That's enough out of both of you. Damn it, this is a good franchise. No, I just, I just really enjoy uh, this idea. How are they going to get the Bud Light commercials in that's medieval true. times? That's right. That's like, right. Is like, I summon the Coors Light. All of a sudden, Mark Ellis shows up. That's right. Weird, weird squire outfit. Hey, what's going on the Olive Garden? Yeah. Hey, I love this. Uh, uh, what do you What do you think? Conjure Club. Thing? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, you know, so look, there's marketing, and then there's maybe taking things a little too far with product placement. And they show me they run up to me us and they show me. This clip, who would ever thought we were about to show a General Hospital clip? It's amazing. It's amazing. Here, check check out this clip. No, is I miss. I miss us. Well, you know, Dr. Strange is about to hit theaters pretty soon. You may be surprised to hear this, but if I can't see that movie with you, I won't see it. It won't be the same. I don't want to pressure you. It's just how I feel. Yeah. That's right, baby. Yeah. Oh, it's all yeah. about Doctor Strange. Doctor right. Strange in the house. Doctor Strange, Woo. gentlemen. If you're having a hard time understanding how to relate to members of the opposite <laughs> sex or those you find attractive, it's all about Doctor Strange. Right. Wow. And I didn't know whether to laugh at this, and I did. I laughed hysterically at it. It's like, or it's like, <laughs> this is the most blatant product placement force thing to to promote your other brand that I have ever seen. Well, you know the new Doctor Strange movie opens this week. Yeah. I, I, and you, then, I'm you're... sorry, I, I, I can't think of seeing that with anyone else but you, so I'm not gonna go see it. He does love me, make out! <laughs> Doctor Strange in the house. You just saw this for the first time. I just witnessed it for the first time, and you know, boys, sometimes things can be both. Sometimes they can be great, <laughs> they can also be shameless product placement. That was a great example. Well done, Mouse. Proud of you. Yes. And now General Hospital just gained like 18 million new Marvel fan <laughs> That's right. viewers. Of when are they going to mention Doctor Strange again? <laughs> Never. Are they crossing yeah. it over? Is That's it all right. a shared universe <laughs> now? That episode of General Hospital just broke the record for most amount of viewers wearing a cape while watching <laughs> the right. show. <laughs> all right, look at what's going on behind the scenes. That maybe there's something worthwhile here. I don't know, Schnapp, how do you see it? What is that symbol where it's like red and frowny face with horns? Yeah, That's the devil face. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's so ridiculously stupid. It shows you oh, the I'm pathetic. Sorry. I buy. I totally sell this. It shows you the pathetic nature of Hollywood, like a bidding war on a bunch of stupid symbols. I don't even know what to say. But How do you, you begin? like shapes? I, I love shapes. You're good at coloring I'm waiting, stuff too. I'm waiting for the Tetris movie. Where's that, Hollywood, you losers? Um, well, why don't you make a real movie like Tetris instead of a bunch of dumb shapes and symbols with faces on it? It doesn't have to have a face. It can mean something. It could be a square. It could be a rectangle. It could, it could be, be an L shape. A block. And then when yeah. that long one comes in, right. look you got to flip it and spin it. It's a whole story. Get on it. Write that script. But honestly, you sound... Exactly like me. I know with the Lego talking thing. about the Lego. No, I'm, thing I'm having a little like fun with it because it's so dumb. <laughs> it's it's dumb. so and pathetic and stupid that we're talking about it. I'm sure I'll see it. I was like, I cried when Smiley Face Lego melted. <laughs> it's gonna be so pathetically stupid. It's so homogenized. It's like the shape of the Earth. It's round. And everyone can see it. 
I want to swear. Right now. <laughs> so let me just... throw this idea though. That buyer saw the emoji movie teaser. Yeah. Well, let's just <laughs> let's just get into it right away. I'm gonna hold my breath and wait for Alphabet the movie, where it's all about like text based Textopolis. This is horrible and garbage. It's a what the f world that we live in. First the orange clown, now emoji the movie. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what's happening with our planet. It's it's burning up in a crisp. We're gonna be a cube of death, and probably by 2018, we're burning everything alive. Emoji the movie, just beyond stupid. I can't stand it. So you buy it. Right. I sell this more than I could possibly sell anything in all of 2016. 2016 is sucked ass. All right, everybody's dying. The world is ending. Climate change deniers. I don't know what's happening, but we have an emoji movie to look forward to. <laughs> Kill me now. Right. Ken, Ken, you buy, you buying this? Uh, uh, I, I want to sell this to be on John Schnepp's good side. There's one thing. Not buy or sell a Tetris movie trilogy. You know what's a cool surprise if there's three of them? They haven't even made the first one yet. <laughs> They're announcing a goddamn trilogy of Tetris, which is a video game made up of shapes that you move and form. <laughs> Give me a break. This is so stupid. I don't even like talking about it, but it just it makes me sick to hear that they've Oh, wait till you see the cool surprise about Tetris the movie trilogy. Suck it, man. I don't care about your cool surprise, okay? What is it? Oh, we've got to save the world from aliens, so we train these dudes to create a Tetris wall around Earth. Ooh, I'm shocked and amazed at your incredible science fiction trilogy. Oh, I'm sorry, one more thing I got to add. It's like, you know what? A lot of other people are constantly talking about like, oh, well, what about Lego? That surprised everybody. It didn't surprise that many people because Lego has got an entire universe around it. There's like little Lego characters based on all different products. In fact, you could probably have a Tetris Lego set. Suck on that. Tetris is a bunch of shapes. Give me a break. <laughs> Mark? Yes. <laughs> Uh, I, as the world's greatest Tetris player of all time, that's not like some sort of joke, like, oh man, I'm really good at Tetris, I picked it up a couple of times. I am the best uh, player of Tetris in history. I go with Game Boy, and I'm willing to take on anybody in the entire world, hep, so... Hep, hep, hep. I challenge you, Mark oh. Ellis, to a game of Tetris. You want to, you want to play Game Boy Tetris can with I, me? Can I, I Facebook Tetris live here. stream it? Yes, you can. Oh, right. my God. This thing is going to be... I'm looking for the picture right now on my Facebook page of a nice little score I've put together. Mm. If I get to perform my Tetris skills at the premiere, I still probably wouldn't buy this. Like, I love Tetris to death. Stars Scarlett Johansson, Zoe Kravitz, Kate McKinnon, Jillian Bell, and Alana Glazer as five friends at a bachelorette <laughs> party who accidentally kill a male stripper and have to cover it up. The movie is written by Broad City writer Lucia Aniello and Paul W. Downs, with Aniello also directing. It opens in theaters on June 16th. Perry, help me out here. Save me. By yourself in the Red Band trailer for Rough Night. Yeah, I can't help you out because I didn't hear any of that intro because of these guys here, but I know what we're talking about. You, do you do you want to enlighten the audience? No, I'm no not I, I didn't thing. think so. I'm so. gonna blame this on Christian. He said something to I've me. I've got it's all your fault per usual. I didn't say anything. I'm just God sitting here going feeling. like this. Nobody believes that ever. I buy this trailer. This looks like a ton of fun. I love this cast, and I think this is our second trailer so far. Let's I'm go. clearly failing. It is fun. I'm excited. Go away, all of you guys. <laughs> Schnapp, because I'm not ready. Yeah. I think so. Hey. I didn't hear what they said either, so they're still whispering to each other. Cut away to them whispering. Look at that little whisper. The, the Whisper whole, Brothers. The whole desk is actually yeah. 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 shaking the desk. <laughs> Joe is falling off the rails. I'm not going to keep it on the rails. Um, you know what? I, li I liked the idea for this trailer. You guys are bastards. <laughs> I'm also pretty sure so I heard sorry. a little of that. Uh, I'm so sorry. Anyway, what, Christian, what do you think? That was great. Uh, no, I hated the trailer. Uh, we got a surprise trailer. We are free, Ashley. Why is that? <laughs> Universal Pictures released the first teaser trailer and poster for Fifty Shades Freed. The Schnepp buyer sell the first teaser for Fifty Shades Freed. Well, they're not going to ruin my Valentine's Day. That's all I can say. <laughs> uh, I know this is Ashley's favorite. I, I, I'm sure you can't wait for the, uh, the oh. trilogy. Oh, my God. The, finally, the trilogy will be complete. Holds a special place. The Grey Saga. Who cares? This is garbage <laughs> cinema. Garbage cinema is what it is. Fuck it. <laughs> All right, 0 for 1 here on the lead tail. I want to throw this right back to, to <coughs> Ashley and Wendy. I guess we'll go back to Ashley and Wendy after we hear from Roka and Perry. But uh, uh, Roka, yeah. I'm going to go to you first because some days you believe in true love. <laughs> Other days, not so much. Right. How are we feeling this morning? 
Uh, I do not believe in this. That, like, are we still <laughs> doing this? Like, we're really doing a third one of these people and these other things in his resume. So it just breaks my heart that he's doing these films. It's I called house he's... payments, Roka. Yeah, I guess so. No, I don't hate <laughs> on the dude. I'm sorry. I don't hate on anybody who takes a job and makes that money. Fair. Just, you know, you don't I, have no, to I see the garbage I just want to get better film. material. I want him to. Yes. I think he deserves better material. That's, I guess, right. where I'm coming from. Project ...and is eyeing a 2019 release. Schnett buy or sell a Dora the Explorer movie produced by Michael Bay. <laughs> Totally. <laughs> hey, so we're really going to talk about this. I thought it was a joke thing. You get platinum dunes and people can't even make a Friday the 13th movie. I don't care. Uh, you know, Dora the Explorer, I'm glad that little kids enjoy it. It's a kid's property that they're going to age it up and try to like, I get where they're trying to do is like all the people who watch Dora the Explorer, they're teenagers now. Let's get that money and get, you know, get the people like who watched Dora like 10 years ago to come in and enjoy the new Dora the Explorer live action series. We get the kids when they're with our cartoon. We get the, you know, the teenagers with the, I think it's a, a, a horrible marketing ploy. <laughs> it's horrible and gross and I'm not going to buy it. I, uh, I I'm going to put the, the Michael Bay stuff to the side just for a minute and I'll Written and directed by I Heart Huckabee's Jeff Baina and based on the Decameron novel by Giovanni Boccaccio, the film stars Aubrey Plaza, Alison Brie, and Kate Micucci. <laughs> foul mouth nuns. Who She's been giggling all morning every time she, she tried couldn't to say wait that to name. say that name. It's Micucci, Ashley. It's Micucci. You can tell Micucci. she was thinking about that name when she said Megalodon. She was like, Am I going to say Micucci? <laughs> Am I going to say Micucci? <laughs> <laughs> Well, all of them play foul mouth nuns who <laughs> begin preying upon a hired hand played by Dave Franco. Uh, okay, we're going to try to get some yucks with this. And my God, did I get belly laughs. I laughed all the way down to my coochie. This thing is hysterical. <laughs> I love watching this trailer start to finish. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what I got on the brain. Thanks, Ash. He's off to be raunchy and funny. Sure, I was a big Porky's fan. Why not? <laughs> Schnapp. Coochie monster. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could think of. These guys are talking about coochies and that cookies. That animated gif is going to make its way all around the internet. <laughs> that would be the best That's episode right. of Sesame Street right. ever. That's you want right. to learn something, kids? Here comes Coochie monster. <laughs> coochie! Coochie monster! I love the fact that uh, Schnepp gave a huge shout out to my AOL instant messenger name. <laughs> coochie monster. Coochie monster. The number of the day uh, is 69, kids. I am, I, I am going to buy this trailer big time. It is an incredibly funny trailer. Oh, no. uh, it made me think of a, a, a nun film from back in the day. It's Amadavor's Bad Habits. Now, that is a trippy, freaky film with nuns on acid. Look it up, check it out, and then see this film. You're Come. always pretty in pink, Ashley Mova. Coochies are for closers. You guys can find me on Twitter, Instagram, yeah. Snapchat, at Ashley Mova. That was good. Nice, Ashley. And Wendy Lee.